This year, three different Charleston County schools got special funding to help students learn to respect and preserve our natural environment. Yeah, see her, see Montessori School is one of those schools that received a Dominion Environmental Education and Stewardship Grant, and we'll be using that money for educational outdoor spaces. Yes, our Samantha Popovich joins us live from North Charleston this morning. So Samantha, tell us more about the impact of this grant. Good morning. Good morning. Through this funding, the school is able to combine literacy and garden education so that students can read outside while eating foods that they've grown. The, the Charleston County School District says Malcolm C. Hersey Montessori School received a grant for around $2,300. Garden teacher Shayla Moritz says through this grant, they were able to purchase new benches, tools, and seeds for planting flowers and growing vegetables. She says students are now weeding, planting, watering, and cooking. She says the garden has a range of vegetables growing from potatoes, collards, carrots, radish, borage, cilantro, lettuce, to fennel. Moritz tells me she enjoys being able to see young children try different vegetables that they normally wouldn't and actually liking them. First thing they come into the garden is just plucking. Miss Moritz, can we eat this? Miss Moritz, can we eat that? And so just that alone has helped me to appreciate we are introducing and um, helping them to recognize this very important part of their nutrition. Librarian Caitlin Torres says this grant allows students to enjoy healthy food they have picked from the garden while also reading in a peaceful environment. She tells me she noticed students are more attentive outside than they are in the school's media center. And this is a fun way for them to incorporate healthy eating. And for the kids to actually make a food and experience like, oh, I grew this strawberry and now I'm putting it in my smoothie and now I'm sitting and eating it while enjoying a book. It was just a win-win for both of us. The school's principal says they will be relocating down the block to a larger facility for the upcoming school year where they will continue these classes in their new garden. Reporting live in North Charleston, Samantha Popovics, Live 5 News.